Gold prices got absolutely slammed on Monday. That was yesterday, guys. And the reasons for that at the time were really two main reasons why gold got hit. The first one uh, was because of optimism over this Moderna vaccine, which has gone through its first phase of clinical trial and is looking promising. That injected markets with risk on, and obviously when you get risk on, you get havens like gold coming under pressure. Uh, the second bullish factor that was weighing on gold yesterday, so as in bullish for risk assets, but bearish for safe havens like gold, was when France and Germany published their proposal for this EU recovery fund. Basically, they want joint EU debt which is seen as a really, really good step in the right direction for the Eurozone, you know, reducing the risk of Eurozone fragmentation and all those bad things we don't want to see happen in Europe, massively reducing the risk of that if it's accepted. Uh, but guys, gold today is already making quite a decent comeback. So yesterday, uh, in the morning, gold was at around about 1,760, fell a good $30, which is a big move for gold in one day, to around seven, uh, 17,030, but we're now trading again in roughly the 1740s. So, you know, that's like a decent $15 rally, which is, that is good, guys. Don't let the fact that we fell $30 yesterday take away from the fact that a $15 rally is not good. It is good. So why is gold coming back? Well, these are, these are more long-term factors or medium-term factors, if you will, as opposed to your that you're like, you know, your, your intraday news stories that create volatility, like those two stories yesterday. But generally, most analysts, most traders are still very bullish on gold for two key reasons. One of them, central bank stimulus. Guys, the general trend in the world from all the major central banks is we are heading to more central bank stimulus from the Fed, Powell hinting he wants more, Bank of England, RBNZ, both talking about negative rates, ECB, BOC, RBA, all the other major central banks all talking about at least doing more QE. And gold loves central bank stimulus because generally gold loves it when you erode the value of money. And obviously all this central bank stimulus is basically money printing in a way, isn't it? So it's seen as in the long term eroding the value of money. So that's the first reason why gold is in the medium term likely to remain supported. The other reason is, in the medium term, it doesn't look like US-China tensions are going to go anywhere. And why is that? Well, guys, we've got the US elections coming up, and China bashing for Trump essentially is going to be a big, big tool for him to try and boost his own popularity going into the election. Because amid this, you know, this massive pandemic, which did come from China, or that's what we think anyway, we're pretty certain it came from China, Americans are very distrusting in China. They don't like China. Not necessarily Chinese people, I'm not saying they're all racist, but I mean the Chinese regime and the Chinese government. And the Trump administration are gonna play on that hard by pointing the finger at China, blaming China. Today you've seen them talk, uh, slagging off and threatening the WHO, the World Health Organization. That is likely to continue. And both of these factors are likely to support gold in the medium term. That is pretty much it from me for now, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>